today is a very special day. Today in this box is more stuff for the car. More stuff for the car. Got my warranties. Got my springs. And what do we have here? What do we have here? Ooh. It's a nice out with the old. Got the old intake out. Now we move on to the uh the other intake. And with the new. Sorry I didn't get the footage. My phone was was dead and I record my videos on my phone. But right now I'm downloading my tune from Bama. So now we got it all good. Until I download this uh, tune from Bama. It's no tunes on my thing right now. So right now we're going to save the stock data. Uh, change the octane and the cold air intake and see how this affects my car so the good thing about it is it's saving my stock um, my stock uh, data for my vehicle so if anything was to ever go wrong with anything I can just convert it back to stock But now we just wait until that saves and it's so cold, sorry if I'm shaking, it's like it's like real really cold. Right. Supplying. It's right in my tune. Let's go, baby. Write that thing up, baby. So, yeah, see how it works, hopefully. Does my car some justice, because it is a high-mileage car. So, I'm just trying to take all the necessary steps to make my car 100% last me a lifetime. Yeah, so, cold. Just checking my charts to make sure the level is medium, so... Today, Ruby's going to get tuned. I already threw a race tune on her. Uh, for now. Because of my cold air intake, JLT Series 3. But I'm about to show you guys the process that I had to go through just to, just to uh, install my tune from Bama Tune, RevX Tuner, Tunes for Life. I'm about to go ahead and tune her. I already got the race tune set on it, but I'm gonna revert her back to stock. And then I'm gonna. Um, then I'm gonna show you guys the process that I had to go to go through to put my race tune on. It's not hard, anyone can do it within minutes. It's a couple little personal stuff on the car that I might have to block out. You know, but this is the JLT Series 3. Cold air intake, 110 millimeters. Uh it's kind of cold out here. Got this guy trying to park beside me now. It's kind of cold out here. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing you want to do is find a port down here. <laughs> you want to find a port. Let me go ahead and put my, my Bama tuna up here real quick. You want to find your little port. Okay. Ugh. You want to find this little port. Let me see. Uh, so it's 
quart. Right there. Stick around. Boom, she's plugged up. Oh. Now my drama tuner is cut on. Okay, let's shut the door. It's super cold out here. Okay, what we want to go into is program vehicle. Boop. Okay, that's personal, so we're going to skip past that so you guys... Uh, we're already updated, so we're going to skip that. Cloud sync, skip that. We're going to return vehicle back to stop. Put my key in, trusty forward. Put the key in, turn it to the on position. Push continue. Let it program a vehicle oh my wife I forgot I don't feel like back in my car damn it turn key off turn it back on not start. So it's returning my vehicle back to stock. And as you're doing this, uh, the tune is going on. You'll notice uh, it'll flash all that. Your check engine light will come on. But it'll go off. Is this the tuner doing what it does? Just a heads up if you guys are like, oh shit, my check engine light come on. Yeah, it's just the tuner uh, digging into the system. <laughs> so it, depending on what kind of car you have, it might pop on, it might not. But on, in my case, a 2005 GT Mustang, um, it does pop up, but it goes away. I, my, my, my check engine light isn't on. It's just this thing. Bama Rev X tuner is scanning through and getting me an order. So once we return back to stock, I'll go into my cloud. I only have two um, tunes for my car. I got a, a 93 octane performance tune and I have a 93 octane race tune. The race tune is set up for my long tube headers and everything. Um, that should be installed by like next week or so. But those are the the race tune. I have all my files that I that I submitted, as far as uh, the stuff that I purchased. Okay, that's complete. So that's complete. We go done. Congratulations. Boom. So now what we want to do is we want to install the Bama ninety three octane race tune so you guys can't see this boom programming vehicle we don't need to be updated once again it's falling off the case all right now we're going to go to cloud sync go to continue slide this up a little bit it's falling so i gotta go through my wi-fi Oops. How do I go back? Yeah. So I accidentally hit somebody else's Wi-Fi. Pause you once I'm connected to my wi -Fi. I'll be back. You guys see me in a second once I connect to my Wi-Fi because it just tried to hook up to someone else's. So as you can see, I have um, 93 performance tune, 93 race tune. We're going to install the 93 race tune. So 
it's programming it. Just give it a give it a quick sec. Confirm. It's gonna go ahead and skip that. 93 octane race tune. Continue. So while this is writing, hopefully I don't have to turn my key off and turn it back on. I think it's just gonna okay, yeah, I do. Okay, so we turn it all the way off. Let me turn it back on. And there we go. Saving my stock data. Once again, my check engine light came back on as it's saving my stock data. So if anything was to go wrong with my code air intake now or whatever, I can re revert back to my stock tune, which is crap. But all I can say is from the race tune that I've uh, installed on my car, it woke my car up a lot. It woke my car up a lot to the point where when I hit the gas now, it's almost like instant. There's no lag. Um, it gets up and go. So I can imagine after I get my, my long tubes installed, the effect that this tune is going to do to my car because it's running so good right now. I don't, I, my car is a daily, but it's not a daily because I don't drive my car like that. But when I do go out somewhere, yes, I do drive my car. So why not just have a car, you know, that's reliable, that, that can get up and go? That is why I'm doing this to my car, because it, it does have 132,000 miles on it, but it's reliable. That is the key. This car is reliable. I wouldn't have had all these mods and stuff done to my car if this car was not reliable. Like this stuff is not cheap. It's well worth it. So if you do, or if you are looking for uh, more power out of your car, I, I will consider getting you a cold air intake and a tuner, because the tuner will give the cold air intake everything it needs to run fine. Without the tuner, I would say you probably get stock fill gains out of your whatever you purchase but once you tune your car is where you get the performance and the horsepower and uh and the torque this is the bama rev x tuner that came with the cold air intake off of american muscle uh that gives me 38 horsepower 34 foot pounds of torque hey i can definitely feel it a hundred percent i can i can definitely feel. i did a pull yesterday and that was it kind of put me back in my seat but it's well worth it man if you guys are looking on tuning your car, feel free to do some research on this tuner and the cold air intake. They do have two separate tuners that they do come come with. This one and the Bama SCT tuner, I believe it is. This one's the Rev, Rev X. And I like this little thing. You know, I can look at all my gauges, make sure all my fuel, air, temp uh, ratios is good. It does what it's supposed to do, and it does what American Muscle said it was going to do. So, Appreciate that, American Muscle. I will be doing more business with you guys. Um, once again, guys, I'm writing this. It's writing the tune right now, the 93 race tune. We're almost finished. Um, I'm going to try to give you guys a short little drive once it does finish down my block and, and back just to make sure everything is hooked up right because I, I just got finished putting on my heat shield. Um, okay, so program is complete. We hit done. Boop. So now what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to watch my logs just to make sure everything is, is done. So key is already on that on position. Getting my gauges ready. There we go. These are all my temps, my current temps. So it's cold outside once again, as I said. So we're gonna go ahead and crank her up and let her breathe. Once again, no check engine light. Car is cold, it is a cold start.
Frozen fan. Wanna take her down for a little cruise. I'm gonna pause you guys and see you guys in a second once I'm set up so I can do a little test drive. race soon <laughs> something serious it's nothing to play around with in there. I, I, like it's not the fastest car in the world but that torque will put you it just put me back in my seat like that's crazy you wouldn't expect that and all, right now it's just it's, it's only just the JLT series uh, 3 cold air intake so I can imagine how she's going to pull once the headers and everything is on oh my god god that was fun. That was that was fun. Just a quick little blast after the tune. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm I'm satisfied. Couldn't be more satisfied than what I am right now. Cause that's good. That's good. She wants to go. She wants to get up and go now. That's always a good thing when your car is not a slouch and. She wants to go. But that was a short little cruise, guys. My 
phone's about to die. I'm about to park and go in here and do some do some house stuff, man. But I appreciate y'all for sticking around, watching the videos. It's greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next time.